Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna do a collective haul. It's not a very big one, but I picked up some new bits, so I thought I'd show you exactly what I got. So yeah, hope you enjoy. So first up, we have Primark. Now, I don't really shop in Primark, and by not really, I don't shop in Primark. I get my cotton pads from Primark, and that is literally it. I don't, oh, and my pants. They do really good pants. Um, but apart from that, I just never shop in there just because I can never ever find anything I like until the other day. We went in and I'd seen everyone obviously had the pink like jumper, but I'm not really like a pink girl. I'm sure we've gathered this by now. I don't wear pink. I'm not a pink girl. So that was never really something that I thought, yeah, I'd really like. And then I walked in and on the same stand that the viral pink jumper was, were the most gorgeous like grey knit jumpers so first up we have this gray jumper now i got all of these in a size large i did try on the medium and they were basically the same size but i thought i'd rather it be too big than slightly too small if that makes sense so first up is this one and i'm not really like a dark gray girl if i'm honest i feel like it kind of gives me school vibes even though my uniform wasn't dark gray but I love this. I think it's so cute. I like autumnal. I will try everything on. I might just put up little like try on clips here like I did with my last try on haul. Um, but this is just so lovely. The quality as well, like it's Primark. It's so soft. And this was, it was 15 pounds. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought it would probably be 10 maximum from Primark because I remember everything being like so cheap in Primark, but I guess £15 for a jumper is still quite cheap. So this is the first thing that I got. Love it. It's so nice. And you know that TikTok trend, that, like TikTok sound that's like, if I like it, I'll just get another colour. That's me. So we got this same jumper in a light grey. And again, I love it. So soft, so nice. I got it in a size large again. I think I said all three of these are a size large. I really like the way it sits on like the neck. Like it's a really nice thick neckline and just like really, really nice. So I'd run to Primark to get these because the way I'm thinking of wearing them is black jeans or gray jeans or something with like cool shoes on. Just like, I think it would look cool, you know? And then last but not least for the jumpers, I got this really, really pretty cream color. And I'm sure I've said this before, I never used to be like a cream or a white or even like a gray wearer. I wore black, like exclusively black clothes, basically all the time. I don't really know why. I just never really thought, I always thought that gray didn't suit me, but now I've got this. This is from Adenola, by the way. I feel like I'm gonna get so many questions. Adenola long sleeve top in like gray something, gray me mel, something like that. I'll link it with all this other stuff if I can find the links. I feel like you can't really link Primark things, can you? But again, so soft, so nice. It's like a kind of boucle. Let's just pretend that's the correct way to pronounce it. It's kind of that fluffy material, which I think the one thing with Primark, obviously it isn't the best quality because it is so cheap. But with a jumper like this, first of all, if you don't get it dirty, I feel like you wouldn't really need to wash it. That's the kind of girl I am. If it's not dirty and I've not like been sweating in it, it's not getting washed, there's just no point. It's a waste of water and electricity. But I feel like this is a kind of thing that even if you wash it, because it's already got that kind of like fluffy material, it's not gonna look like it's been like breaking down in the wash. So I feel like that's like a good stable piece that you can wear. like literally for years so next up we have this coat and if you follow me on pinterest or like you see my pinterest boards or that kind of vibe of thing you'll know i love jess hunt her clothes i think she just looks so put together especially in autumn winter her fashion is i put a little like display of what i'm talking about up here but she always has these really lovely long coats and either they're like out of stock i can't find them or they're an extortionate price and I'm just not gonna pay that, especially for something that I think next year I might not be like a long coat girl, if that makes sense. So I got this one from Primark and okay, so the jumpers were 15 pounds. So when I saw this, I thought it's probably gonna be like 50 pounds because I had seen like Primark coats had been like 50 pounds and I thought for a Primark coat, am I really gonna spend 50 quid? This was 35 pounds. 
I think that's really, really reasonable. So this, I might have to do like a big long try on for this because it is a long coat. But this is just kind of what it looks like. I feel like you really can't see at all what it looks like. But it's just a black coat, long coat, really cute. I did get this in a size UK 12, which I'm normally a size UK 4 slash 6 for reference of how much I sized up just because I want to wear it with a hoodie or like I want it to look oversized or right with a jumper that kind of vibe and I don't want it to look like it's now quite tight when I've got lots of layers on underneath because that's just not the look I'm going for I have a coat that I got in a two like in a size that was too small and I just don't ever wear it because it looks like it looks like I'm like struggling to fit in the coat which isn't the vibe I want for like an oversized fit so I've got this in the UK 12. I actually was toying with getting the 8 because they either had a 4, 6, 8 or 12. Um, probably the 10 would have been absolutely perfect, but the 12 was like better than the 8. But yeah, £35 for this and it's really good quality. Like, I mean, I'm sure it probably wouldn't last the complete test of time, but... £35, I'll 100% get 35 wires out of it. Like, this is the way I think of money. If I'm buying something that's like £40, if I'm going to wear it 40 times, it then is free. Because it's like, every time I wear it, would I spend £1 to put it on? Absolutely. So to me, it's just like, that's that makes it worthwhile. Like with trainers, I always think, trainers are so worthwhile spending money on. If you see a nice pair of trainers that you like, get them because for me it's like if you're going to wear that pair of trainers let's say they're 100 pounds 100 times trainers will already last you three years ish if your feet have stopped growing three years if you take good care of them you're going to wear them 100 times in three years come on like obviously you are so it then means it's free and like i said to sam so i was going to buy these trainers which i then didn't because they were the wrong size but they were 85 pounds they were like the adidas campus kind of ones and they were £85, so then I didn't buy them. And then everything that I bought from Primark was £81. So I said, I was like, realistically, I've actually made £3 today because I was going to spend the £85 anyway. I had my sights set on spending this £85 on these trainers. And then when that didn't happen, I was then £85 up. So now I'm only £3 up, but that's fine. So all of this Primark stuff is basically free, if you ask me. Then from H&M, I only bought one thing, and it was this scarf. I don't know if you've seen, it's like the viral Jacquemus dupe scarf. And I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of expensive. Like, £15.99 for a scarf. I feel like that's quite expensive. But it's one of the ones that looks like it's got, it's like the dupe with the writing on it. But, wow, I look really cute right now. But this is just so nice. It's so nice. I think we worked out that it says Magnifique on it. But no one's ever going to read that, so it doesn't really matter. This I just think would be so cute for like an autumn, winter outfit. If you've got a neutral outfit, chuck this on and it's like more accessorised. Just realised it is really nice quality. It's nice and soft, so I will get 16 words out of this, so it's fine. So next up is JD and just before I get into it, this is not sponsored, however I am working with them at the minute and I didn't buy these clothes or shoes with my own money, but this is not sponsored in any way, I just want to let you know that before I go through it, if that makes sense. This literally arrived like 10 minutes before I started filming because I was like, I saw the delivery was arriving today and I thought I need to wait and let you know. Also, I'm literally filming this today, if you're watching this today I upload, I realised I didn't have a video um, for today and I thought... I can't do that, I need to post on my Friday, so I'm filming this now, I'm going to edit it and get it up for you, so yeah, a bit of a rush, but don't care, wanted to get one up. Also, I have my White Fox haul going up on Tuesday, so many, so many of you asked for a White Fox haul, and I filmed one, and it is up on Tuesday, so look out for that. So, the first thing I got from JD was this black tracksuit, I couldn't stray too far away from my black love of clothes in autumn winter so I got this tracksuit because I actually don't have a black sweatshirt and I thought cute because I like wearing sweatshirts with my hair's down hoodies with my hair's up that's just I, I don't like having my hair down with makeup on with a hoodie on for me it's way too much going on like around here not a fan so when I've got a sweatshirt it's perfect because my hair can just like go down like it is now this is the phoenix tracksuit I believe it's called I think and it's like black 
size small. I got the top in a size small, but I believe the small joggers were out of stock, so I got a medium. But this is a small, and for a small, I'm loving the fit. Like, it's nice and oversized. I hate it when you get like a small in something that says it's oversized. I'm pretty sure it says it's oversized. Um, yeah, oversized, and it's just like not oversized at all. And you think you've lured me into a full sense of security here. But this small looks perfect. And then here are the joggers. I'm not gonna lie, they do look huge. I might just have to roll them over or like tie up the waist. Actually, if I tie up the waist, then I'm sure it'll be fine. But obviously, I am a small slash extra small for joggers, and they only had a medium. But I thought I'll make it work. It's fine. So got these. Obviously, they're a matching tracksuit. Just really cute. I feel like lounging around the house, autumn, winter, like the perfect tracksuit. Guys, I'm just putting on the outfits to do a little try on clips. And I've got to the Nike tracksuit bottoms. Um, yeah, these are just way too big for me. That, I mean, I will say they're very comfy. Like, <laughs> I mean, they're obviously huge for me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, can you see? I, mean, I, can, I can tie to them, it does work. I mean, they do look quite cute like this, I'm not gonna lie. Then I never see anyone getting anything from like Reebok and I thought this was really cute. I just thought a nice gray tracksuit and it's got green writing on it and it'll make sense in a sec because I got some green shoes and I thought the subtle detail just kind of goes really well. And I think with like a slick button, this would look so cute. So this is the Reebok, I think it's called Big Logo Hoodie, I think, um, but yeah. So cute. I will link, I'll link all the JD stuff in the description and if I can find, I will link the HM thing. I just don't know if I'll be able to find the Primark links. I don't know if they do that kind of thing. But yeah, love this. And then I got the joggers in the right size, I believe. Yeah, so I got these joggers in a small and they're just like obviously matching with the green little detail on the jogger. But I think such a cute tracksuit. Again, autumn, winter, it's just perfect. I really like the colour of grey as well. It's like a nice white light grey which I think is really flattering so yeah love this then I did get slightly carried away on the JD website when I saw this because I've wanted a North Face for so long I always see people having them like every autumn winter time everyone's on TikTok doing their style in my North Face and I'm always just like oh I've got my own black puffer coat like I don't need to buy one it's unnecessary to buy it and then I got this and I have already tried it on, I'm not gonna lie, and it's really cute. It is so warm, like, it's just so cute. I've pulled like the strings up to make it like more short, if that makes sense, and then like done the sleeves to be the size to me, but it is really cute. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend it's not so expensive, because it is. I believe this is like 300 pounds, which is ridiculous for a coat, I'm not gonna lie. However, I think this will be keeping me very warm. I got this in a size medium because I thought if I have like a jumper and same kind of vibe as the coat that I got from Primark, I don't want to look like it's kind of like squishing me. I want it to look cute and oversized. So I got this in a medium. I think it's a 700, 796. I don't know what the exact name of this is, but again, I will link it. I think it's, well, it's got 700 on the sleeve if that means anything to anyone. And then last but not least, I have some trainers and I've actually wanted these trainers, these specific ones, for quite a long time. I saw them in JD a while ago when I went shopping with Sam and I thought, oh, I really like them. So they're these green, like dark green Jordan, I think they're called. They're baby, baby, base, blah, 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 blah. They basically look like dunks to like anyone who isn't like a sneaker head because I'm not. They look like green dunks to me, I'm not gonna lie. I think they're Jordan something. Um, women's Air Jordan 1 Low. That's what they are. Um, but I think the green is such a cute colour. Like with something like this. How nice. Oh, excuse the state of my socks, but like how nice is that? These are gonna be some of my probably my most worn trainers at the minute because I just love the green. They're so cute. And then with the Reebok hoodie, let's see if the greens match. They match, literally probably. It's like the same colour green. I'm so clever, I'm literally genius. I got these, actually, not that it matters what size I got them in, but I got them in a size, Oh, UK four and a half. Hmm. I don't think they're gonna fit. Okay, I thought I'd just put them on to show you kind of what they look like on. Um, so like this, I'm not gonna lie. They have sent them in the wrong size, but 
I'm grateful none nonetheless. I am normally a size UK four slash in trainers like this, a three and a half, and these are a four and a half, so they are too big. Um, I'll just wear a few pairs of socks, that's fine. Um, but I love them, I think they look really cute. They might just crease a bit when I walk, but yeah, so cute. So the other shoes that I got were these high dunks, I think they're called, and I've got the panda ones anyway, the, the low ones. And then I thought these were like kind of cool. I thought they're kind of cool with like, like if you wore leggings with a hoodie and a bag and stuff, I thought really nice outfits. So I got these and also if I want to wear just jeans, they look like panda dunks anyway, because they'd be cut off right here. So if I want them to like panda dunks, just like low dunks I can. And then if I wanted to like the mid ones, then I can, if that makes sense. So I got these, I feel like these are in the right size. I think they sent these in the UK for. Yeah, so hopefully these fit, because actually, <laughs> them because I want to wear them um but I might just have to repurchase those green ones and give them to someone who wants them yeah so these ones fit a lot better these are the UK four and they just look like this I think so cute like I thought I wouldn't wear them with joggers um just because the cuff bit doesn't really look right with the high bit but with jeans or something I think really really cute or leggings so yeah really happy with these before I finish this video my earrings actually are one of the things that I've recently got and if any of you follow her you'll know Emma Mack she's an Australian influencer and she just come up with her jewellery collection with Zafino I think that's how you pronounce it Zaf yeah it's gonna be Zafino I'm pretty sure but we are like my friends um and she texted me saying I'd love to send you my collection this is not sponsored again I just got to send them from her and these are the earrings they are the most beautiful gold hoop like they are just so nice it's like such a nice chunky if they've got makeup on them please ignore that because I just did my, did my makeup with these on they're like the perfect chunky earring I am literally obsessed they're also water resistant and they're very like affordable as well so I think they're 20 20 pounds 22 pounds I'll get the exact amount up for you now so when you go on to the website this is the website and then that's Emma if you don't follow her already and then these are the earrings so they're what 22 pounds yeah 22 pounds and they're water resistant as well so like they're not just gonna go gross so I love them so much I thought I'd put you on them but literally my go-to earrings now I'm obsessed I love them so much and congratulations Emma that is like the most incredible thing so that is everything from this haul I hope you enjoyed the kind of collectiveness I like doing like specific ones and then collective bits and bobs of things that I've not got enough to do a full haul on but yeah I've got my white fox haul on Tuesday so enjoy that and I've now got into the routine if you haven't noticed already I'm gonna be uploading on a Tuesday and a Friday um so yeah every Tuesday and Friday I promise I will. Um, but yeah, if you did like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you just watch my videos and don't subscribe, please subscribe. <laughs> it means the world. Um, I said in my other video, I'm so grateful to everyone who has subscribed. So yeah, it means the world. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Love you.